You guys know what I'm making, or do ya? We gotta make some pounded yam. And Giving you guys little snippets. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Grubba Khalees, and we are back with another video. What's up, my grill bugs? How are you guys doing today? I know, it's been two days. <laughs> that was three, but two. Y'all know what I mean. But today we have some Ghanaian stew that I am just <laughs> cannot wait to eat, okay? And we have some wine. <laughs> but without further ado, let's say grace and get it in. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this food. Lord God, let it be nourished into my body and please bless those without food. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Big G, big God. How are y'all doing? Okay, so Guyanians, Nigerians, don't come for me, okay? I clean my hands off camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I made this cassava root fresh by myself. Check that out. Mm -hmm. But yes, we have a pepper stew. Oh, God. Mmm. Mmm. How y'all been doing today? Mm. It's spicy too. Mm. I may have made this a little too hot. Well, if I wanna afterwards, okay. Help a Lord. Please help her. Not so tired. Okay, let me stop. Mm. This is so good. I made it by myself. As per usual, because I'm the best. Y'all know I'm African. Keep playing with y'all. Mm. It's so good. Let me take my glasses off. Mm. So, how are you guys doing today? Mm. I know, as you can tell. <clears throat> We're supposed to be finishing up that story time. Mm. And she does it again. Y'all, we have over 300 and something grab bugs now. Welcome to the channel. Y'all, this is hot. Mm. Y'all, something in my eye. I don't know what it is, honey. Mm -mm. We ain't doing that. Mm. Pepper. Mm. Um, it's also rehydrated shrimp in here, too. Mm. So good. Y'all, I cannot wait to trip. Mm. 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 Y'all gotta excuse that gate out there, y'all. I'm sorry. We live right by the gate. <laughs> Everybody coming in and out. Mm. But how are you guys doing today? Ooh, it's hot. It's spicy. Y'all, I'm losing my concentration. Mm. 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 Chicken. Mm. Stew chicken. Mm. Delicious. How y'all like my hair? Mm. My hair look cute, don't it, y'all? That's baby coming in the house. Mm. Shout out to my baby. He always looking out for you, girl. Mm. There's never a day where he don't look out for me. 
Ooh, this is hot, y'all. It's spicy, but it's so good. It's called pepper stew. I'm gonna do a pepper stew or chicken. Let's just keep it at that. Mm. Mm. It's so good. This is dangerous. It gets you full so fast. Mm. But how have you guys been doing? When the food high and you can't think straight. Like on a serious note, I've been doing so good. Just trying to stay active. Getting all negativity out my life. Mm. And the food hot. Mm. And hot too well. Mm. Positive vibes only this way. Mm. It's so good. Mm. 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 Y'all, it's so good. Uh-oh. It's so good. Good thing y'all can't see my shirt. But we're going to get into this story time. Because I know that's what y'all came here for. <laughs> the rest of it. Mmm. What is always a bootleg cop driving past my video? We're gonna have to fight. If I found out who red cop, it's like you never fail. See, y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? You know what? Y'all gonna have to know. I'm from Chicago, okay? So, honey. Mmm. Mmm. You guys, this is so flavorful. Mmm. So flavorful. So good. So delicious. Mmm. Y'all, y'all be thinking I'm playing. I say mm a lot because I can really cook. I be surprised at myself sometimes. Mm -hmm. We got some wine in the building. Mm. Okay, guys. I ate a little bit. Now back where were we okay so the last time i was getting a little creeped out because he knew where my history class was and i never really told him anything about my history class in the library when we were studying he specifically said communications class that's what his last class was that's what he was gonna help me with so i knew he was watching me and that crap made me uncomfortable. <clears throat> then, when you said that, you sure do go to the bathroom a lot and everything like that. That was a red flag to me, y'all. Wow. I'm not, I don't know, it was crazy, though. So, I told y'all last time we talked about the story how most people be scared to tell people, like, yo, I don't want to text no more. Let's just be friends, but... Something was wrong with this guy, y'all. Uh, mm. If you don't like burping, smacking, or moaning, bye. And for y'all who get mad, I'm gonna do it on purpose. <laughs> now let me complain with y'all. Ooh, got that bay leaf. Mm. My co-worker told me a really cringy story about a bay leaf. She said that 
Oh, my old coworker. She said that she was eating her soup and she started choking on a bay leaf. And I'm just like, uh, okay. Like, how the hell did that happen? But okay. Anyway. So, yes, y'all. I finally figured out that he was watching me. And it made me highly uncomfortable. So, it was just like, don't you go to that girl room that's across the hall and everything like that. And I was just like, <laughs> I don't really want to say nothing. I was like, uh, ooh, excuse me, y'all. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, try to play it off. Uh, excuse me. Changing the subject and whatnot. Um, he was just like, you sure you go to the bathroom a lot? And I'm just like, dude, what are you doing? Like, you're weird. So, oh, I'm trying to tell the story, but my mouth hot. Then you just have to break like that. That's how you know it's good. It's tender. But yes, y'all. So, I finally got up the courage and everything to just be like, I'm just tell dude, like, yo, you cool and everything, but I'm gonna need us to stop texting and stuff like that. I'm like, you made me feel uncomfortable. Basically telling him, like, you made me feel uncomfortable. I don't like the fact that you're telling me how you see me, how you're seeing me and stuff like that. I don't like that. So, he was just like, what did I do? Did I do something wrong? Like, and I was just like, uh, I just told you that you make me feel uncomfortable. So, more of the story, two weeks pass and stuff like that. Woo. And it's like, I start bumping into him wherever I fucking It's like, if my books were like falling on the ground or something, I would look up and he would be right there like the was weird y'all so yeah one day i was just coming back from the library mm, it's hot y'all and i seen somebody i didn't know if it was a girl or a guy walking behind me in a hoodie so i'm just like uh you feel me like this ain't nothing i'm across campus and everybody knows that Excuse me, y'all. I'm wasting stuff on myself. Everybody knows that. Oh, got hair in my mouth. Mm. Everybody knows that the library is across campus. So, that's a pretty little far distance for you to be walking at night. So I'm just seeing him. I knew it was him. And all I heard is my name from a distance. Khalees. Khalees. And I'm thinking it's one of my friends. I'm like, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> and he was like, it's me. Blank, blank, blank. You guys know I'm not going to get no names. That person never watched this. And I was just like, oh, I got to go. All right. I was like, hey, bye. I got to go. This nigga started chasing me. He was like, you sure you want to do this? You sure you want to do this? You didn't even give us a chance. What's wrong with you? I knew then I had a stalker. So at this point, I didn't get this dude no chance to get close to me. None of that. None of that. I didn't report it to the university because you know when you tell, <coughs> excuse me y'all, this hot. You know when you tell on your stalker or in the movies, it's just like in the movies. You could tell on your stalker, you could do anything like that. 
and it just make them go 10 times harder because I just feel like they just gotta have you. So at this point, I'm running back to my dorm. I'm running. And no, this ain't like the little tales. You, we all know who fall first <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> nah, this one like that. I was gone, y'all. I was gone. So I finally get back to the building. I lose them, and I get so scared, y'all. I'm like, oh my god. Going on, like, what's really poppy? Yappy, yappy. I'm like, do I gotta call some people up here? Like, what's going on? I've never had this happen to me ever before in my life. So, dude, y'all, it's gonna get crazy because I'm going to the bathroom. That's the crazy part. And I drank a lot of water back there. I still drink water, but it wasn't like as much as I drank back then. Mm. I said to get whistle. Yeah. So I'm going to the bathroom. Um guess who stops open the bathroom door with their foot and all I see is his eyes, they red. He has the most discreet, disturbing look on his face. Like, he just caught a kill or something. Like, y'all, when I tell you, this is probably one of the scariest moments of my life. It's probably one of the scariest moments of my life. Like, when he seen me, it's like, I don't know. It's like I was looking in the eyes of a killer. And you feel me, like, I would never forget that look in his face. I would never forget that. His breath was hard, like he was breathing like, can we talk now? His eyes were dilated. He was sweating and it's like he was trying to hunt me down. Y'all. This dude was trying to hunt me down. And when he seen me, it's like, when he seen me, it's like he calmed down. You guys know how a, a lioness is about to attack her prey or something like that? Y'all, y'all know when a snake, if, okay, so, I'll tell y'all this quick little story. So I was on TikTok and it's these TikTokers that feed their snakes on the live internet. Like they feed their snakes on the live internet. And if you know what a snake is like and what it looked like before it's about to kill, this exactly how this joker was looking. He was looking at me like I was his prey. And I never felt like that before, ever. So He's like, can we talk? I really just want to know what I did to you. I was just like, this. I yelled to the top of my lungs. I'm like, this. And I tried to yell so hard so somebody can hear me. Hopefully, the RA, you know, would come out and stuff like that, which he did. Shut <laughs> so, yes. The RA comes out and he's like, Khalees, are you okay? I'm just like, you know what? And before them, like once he asked me, was I okay? Because he seen his foot in the door to the girl's bathroom and that automatically was like a no for him. Like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this to her? Like, she's trying to go to the bathroom. I have my shower stuff with me, y'all. Just imagine if I would have gotten out the shower and he would have crap on me like that. God is good.
God is amazing, y'all. So the RA basically like, Khalees, you okay? Everything good? Cause you know, when you're in college, there's an RA on every floor. And they like a little rent a cop. They're like a little security guard. They snitch. They see who coming in drunk in, in the dorm halls and stuff like that. But if you got a cool RA, they not gonna care. You just can't set off the smoke alarm or no dumb stuff like that. Or you can't, you feel me, like have guns or drugs and stuff like that. Like they'll let you have a little weed every now and then. But y'all, I'm sweating. I'm brown sugar, I'm melting. But, um, yeah, so Kel basically came out or whatever, and he was just like, Khalees, are you okay? And stuff like that. So it's like this split second where me and this guy, oh, y'all, I'm sweating because I'm getting nervous. It's like this split second when me and this guy, me and this stalker are just literally looking contact to contact with one another. And it was like a split second to be like looking at him like, are you gonna leave me alone? Do I really have to tell this man that you really out here messing with me? Like you're following me and stuff like that. Like everywhere I looked up, like everywhere I turned my head, like he was there y'all, it was so scary. It was the scariest experience I've ever had in my whole entire life. Um this type of stuff you see on the movies you don't even really think people like really out here live like that it's true i was stalked but it gets worse guys so i thought me and this young man had a moment of clarity like okay so I told Kel, I'm like, nah, this is just my friend just joking around and stuff like that. So Kel was like, oh, okay. And then he was like, well, hey, let her um get in the shower or whatever. And she, he was like, let her be, you know, boys can't go in the girl's bathroom. He made like a little joke. Oh, excuse me, y'all, this hot. He made like a little joke and he was just like, well, you know, boys can't go in the girls' bathroom. What are you doing? And he was like, are you trans? Are you trying to transition? Making like a little joke and stuff like that because it, it was a fair school. Like it didn't have any unisex bathrooms or nothing like that. But they respect her if you were transitioning and they respect if you going to the girls' bathroom. Let's just say that. So yeah, y'all. I literally, after that, I told him, I'm like, are you going to leave me alone? I was like, I know you've been following me. He was like, I swear I haven't been following you. I'm like, how did you know I took American history? He was looking at me. He was just like, okay. He was like, I work at the Starbucks Ooh, in the same building as your history class. Because, y'all, it was a Starbucks right there. He was just like you caught my attention and he was just like I watch you go to class every day this and that I said explain me leaving the gym then explain me leaving the gym oh I was just playing basketball with some friends you live in a quads or no he didn't live in a quads he lived in a university apartments on the other side of campus like house like it was a frat house you stay a mile and some change away from the school everybody knows the university that i went to everything's on campus like you can walk you feel me like it's there big campus but the frat houses are off campus, my nigga. So I wasn't buying it. So I told him, I was like, look, I had a great time. But I told him, like, yo, look, lose my number. I told him, I'm like, I'm not interested. You scared me. I had to look my stalker in the face. 
and say, leave me alone. Question is, did it happen? I guess you guys are just gonna have to wait and see. Cause it definitely got crazier. To the point where it is that I'm literally hiding in my dorm room. Literally hiding. Because someone stole my key. And this person is literally searching after me with a weapon in his hand because he couldn't take rejection. You females, y'all really need to watch out for these men who can't take rejection because y'all, these some of these men out here are true predators. Some of the, and you have some of them that are just crazy. They'll try to talk down on you. They'll try to talk about you. They'll try to talk about your kids. They'll try to talk about just anything just to put you down because you're not interested in them. Like, it's really weird being out here like that. This particular situation made me really. People be lurking. People be lurking real hard, y'all. Mm. But yes, guys. Stay tuned to next video. I love you so much. Make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe for your girl. Thank you so much for watching this video. And we gon' we gonna really chop it up, y'all, because I really feel like I need to I have a message for the Gen Z because we're smart. I feel like we're right on because I'm born in 1998. I feel like we are on the brink of knowing everything and knowing absolutely nothing. Cause some days I have my days where I feel real smart knowing everything, and then sometimes I just have my days where I'm just dumb, dumb. Okay, so yes, guys, ladies, watch your surroundings, watch the people you hang out with, just really protect yourself. But this next story time, y'all really gonna see, like, y'all really, y'all really need to watch. It's pickpocketers out here, like, everything, my whole entire card id got stolen and somebody was hunting me down in my dorm room like crazy crazy but yes thank you so much for watching this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when i post and i'll see y'all next video